world. Ready when you are, young master. Daniel, that's a... that's amazing. How do you f with us, misfits? Come on! I actually feel free. This place is great for inspiration. To your next adventure. How long are we gonna stay here? It's been like a month. I know, but we need more money to get to Puerto Lobos. <laughs> hey, pipe down back there. We're late. Come on, what are you waiting for? There are dozens of hippies like yourselves begging for work at the next town, so move it. I feel like I'm in prison. That's it, enough. You're being a brat. Leave me alone! I can have a normal life. You okay, mijo? I think about what happened. I just want to rage. On the ground! Now! I miss Dad. I'm so sorry, Daniel. You can't change the past, so you just gotta focus on what's next. Oh, you're awesome! Is Sean jealous? No. Nah. Just want him to be safe. Just try to be there for him. The more you try and control him... Stop, Daniel! Hey! <laughs> Your face! Do you have? I said stop! Don't! Don't pull a kid into your stupid crap. Your brother needs a lesson. You all need a lesson. What are you doing? It's my power, not yours. What the? I'm not a kid anymore. I'm just going I won't ask again. Where is your son? In good hands. Where are we going? Come on, just run as fast as you can! Amicia Darun and her young brother Hugo set out on a poetic and harrowing journey deep into the dark heart of the plague-ridden, war-torn Kingdom of France. Following an unspeakable tragedy, the siblings are forced to abandon their home. Pursued by the relentless Inquisition and unending swarms of ravenous rats. Is anyone there? Thrust into a brutal new reality, they will confront dangers no child should ever face. Meanwhile, Hugo is afflicted by a mysterious sickness driving Amicia to hunt for a cure. She must do whatever it takes to protect her little brother and survive in this harsh and hostile world. Though bold, Amicia is just a child and direct confrontation with her foes is futile. Instead, she will need to use her wits and ingenuity to best the threats that pave her journey. I... I, d I didn't want to. Amicia! Finally! Hugo is far from just a burden. His innocence and naivety are offset by his courage, and he will prove vital in working with Amicia to overcome the obstacles ahead. Balancing light with darkness is critical to their survival. In some cases, Amicia will use this to her own grisly advantage. Though inescapable in their new reality, death is still unfamiliar to the two children and the piling bodies are sure to have an impact on both their young minds. Do you think we are hurting them? Through their journey, they will meet those trained in the art of alchemy, who will offer alternative ways to overcome foes or open new paths. It will protect you, and it's pretty too. Oh, all right. Now we can go. Thank you, Hugo. Both the plague and the Hundred Years' War with England have brought suffering to the lives of all in this decaying kingdom. And over time, the siblings will meet others in similarly dire circumstances. These dark times mean they aren't the only ones forced to adapt, developing vital skills to survive an uncaring world. And Amicia and Hugo will need all the help they can get.
done. Sensor going live. Lights out. Seraph liquidated. Providing cover. Launching car. Lindbergh's on site. Moving to flank. 